everybody, it's Gina from Glam Me Up. Today I'm going to be showing you all how I clean my brushes. I'm also going to show you a neat way to dry them, that way they don't ruin the brushes. Also, I'm going to be showing you how to store them, that way you can keep them all organized. And all the ways that I clean them and store them are very affordable. So if you're interested in seeing how I clean my brushes and how I store them, then just keep watching. Now I'm going to show you how I store my brushes. This is just a little caddy thing that I got at Target, and I've shown this in a blog post before on my blog. I think I found this in the kitchen stuff uh, maybe about a year ago or so. I keep my face brushes right here, and then these are blush brushes, and then here I have all my eye brushes. So this is really neat, and it can spin, and you can keep them all organized. And then over here I just have my other tools. These are my Kabuki brushes and my Sonia Kashuk um, blending sponge. Now I'm going to show you how I clean all my brushes. To wash my brushes, I just use the Johnson's Baby Shampoo. This is a really big bottle of it, and I think it was only like $3. It works really well for cleaning brushes because it's gentle on your brushes. It's not going to strip them, and it is going to get them clean. And it is pretty conditioning, too, since it is meant for babies. So this is really good to use on your brushes. I've tried other expensive brush cleaners from makeup brands and stuff. None of them work as well for the price as this does. The first thing you want to do is just wet the tip of the brush. You don't want to get the water too close to the silver part because it can really damage your brush. Then I like to just pour a dime sized amount of the baby shampoo into my palm and just work the brush around in a circular motion. And you don't want to press down too hard during this. Once you get a good lather worked up, then run some water over the brush. I recommend putting the water over just the tips of your fingers and then putting the brush on the water that's running over your hand. That way only a little bit of the water is getting onto the brush just on the tip so it's not going to drip down into the silver part. And then just squeeze out the excess and continue rinsing it until the water is clean. Now I'm going to start washing my e.l.f. Kabuki brushes. You want to be very careful when washing these brushes. They are kind of cheap, they're only $5, but they're really great quality brushes, but you have to be careful when you wash them. I used to wait a long time in between washes and they would get really caked up with makeup and then I would have to really scrub them to get them clean. And I did see a difference. I started seeing brush hairs fall out and it was more sparse and the bristles were kind of far apart and everything. So you want to make sure you definitely are careful with these Kabuki brushes, with any Kabuki brush for that matter, but definitely with these. They are really good kabuki brushes, you just have to make sure you wash them right. Next I'm going to be washing my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blender sponge. I really like this sponge, but it can be difficult to clean, so you want to make sure you don't go too long between washes. When I first got this, I had a really hard time trying to get it clean. If you use a foundation that's like a color stay foundation or something that's long lasting, it's going to be harder to get this out. So I would recommend using a bar soap. One that's good for that is the Dove Sensitive Skin one because it's not too harsh. And then just rub it all over the sponge and it can get it clean. But I haven't been using foundation that's long lasting or anything. And I don't have that much foundation on this so I am just going to use the baby shampoo. And that does work really well. You want to be really careful when you're washing this sponge. I've already broken one of these before. I've kind of put a hole in this one now too. When you're squeezing it out sometimes little pieces can fall off right in the center. So you want to make sure you don't go too long between washes because if it has a lot in it, it is going to be hard to get clean. So now I'm just going to continue with the rest of my brushes. You want to make sure that you're going in the direction of that the brush is shaped. Like if it's a round brush, you want to be moving in a circular motion. If it's a flatter brush, you're going to want to move it back and forth. That way you're not damaging the bristles at all. These smaller eye brushes can be really easy to damage. Make sure you're only wetting the tip of it and you're being really gentle, that way you don't break it.
Okay, so once I'm done washing them, I have them all in this towel here. And I like to get out the excess water, so I just wipe them like this on the towel, just like when you wash it just to get out some of the excess water before I hang them up. And I like to make sure that all the soap suds are out because a lot of them, for some reason, they look like they're rinsed clean, but then when you go to squeeze them, a lot of the soap suds come out. So I'm not sure what that's about. If you're wondering why I have two kabukis, it's because one of them I used to put on my face powder. One of them I used to blend out stuff, like if I need to blend bronzer and blush and something like that, so. You just want to be easy with this or else brush hairs are going to fall out. You want to make sure that they're all reshaped too because however they're shaped when they dry is how they're going to be stuck for a while until you get them wet again. You want to make sure that they are all shaped the way they're supposed to be. So just reshape each one of the brushes. I would not recommend laying your brushes out on a towel like this to dry. I recommend standing them upright, that way any excess water can drain out of them because you don't want any water to be in the ferrule right here. They do make these things called brush guards, which are little plastic sleeves that go up over it and then you can stand your brushes upright. But I don't want to buy a bunch of those, they can be kind of expensive, so I'd rather just find a way at home that I can do it. So what I do is I take clothes pins like these and I clip them on the ends of them and then I set them up on these things that I have here in my bathroom. You can set them on the edge of a counter or the edge of a table or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how it works when I'm done. For brushes like these that are double sided, I just leave them laying out flat on a towel. Um, I'm not that worried about damaging these because I did get these at Walmart, these, this three set right here. I do have a review on them so I will link that. They are pretty cheap brushes and they work great, they're really great quality. Um, the only thing that's not as great is they're lighter, they don't, they're not as solid feeling. Um, but I just laid these out on a towel to dry, and then I also lay out my bent eyeliner brush just because it's so small it doesn't even fit in a clothespin. And then I lay out my beauty blender sponge like this. Then what I do with my bigger brushes and my kabuki brushes is I put them up here on this shower caddy thing. And the kabuki brushes are bigger, so I like to put them right here in this bigger spot. That way they can hang upside down and it still holds them up pretty good. This next one's not going to fit. I'm going to have to lay this one out to dry. I'll just stand it up right here like that. Then I'm going to take this brush. And this one's the fattest, so I'm going to put it in the biggest opening. Let it hang right here just like that. These are a little bit skinnier, so you can fit these in between. My shower thing's kind of in the way, but they can still dry like that. So I just stick those in between th like that, and it really helps them dry. That way all the excess water can just drip out of them and you don't damage this part of the brush. Sometimes you can get the clothespins to stick around these, but you're going to have a hard time getting them to stay up on the edge of something. So I just recommend finding something you can stick them in between, or if you have to, just lay them out to dry. But it's best to keep them upside down. So this is how I dry my brushes. Now for these things, you can fit a bunch up here. Um, I put the heavier brushes on this thing that's flatter just because it's easier. And then this thing over here, since it's not completely flat, I use the lighter brushes like the eyeliner ones and the travel size brushes. I put them up here since they're lighter and they stay. But you can layer up as many of these as you want. Um, or you can hang them over the edge of a table like this. And they dry good like that too. So whichever way you prefer to do it. So that is how I store and wash and hang my brushes to dry. I want to know how you all do it, so please leave it in the comments below. I recommend washing your brushes about once a week. If you don't have time to do that, definitely do it every two weeks. You don't want them to get too dirty because then it's going to be harder to get them clean and you're really going to have to work at it and it can damage the brushes. If you have any other tips on how to wash your brushes without damaging them, then definitely leave it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.